it's 9 47 p.m june 21st 2020 i am currently in las vegas nevada we are about to work the last set of fight weeks here and we've been figuring out the operations for abu dhabi for fight island so i'm currently in a whatsapp conversation tobias who's the executive chef of the w hotel just woke up it's like an 11 hour difference uh, so it's uh, 8 47 in the morning over there monday when it's 9 47 here i've been doing this kind of work for the last week uh, and i want to document it i think this is going to be something cool that everybody may be able to see on the behind the scenes in in the culinary side and how we support athletes but it's super exciting you know it's super exciting to be culinary lead in, in this aspect and anyway i just wanted to get on here record myself and show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes and what we're doing hey chef Good morning, how are you? How are you doing? Very good, very good. Busy, busy. Yeah, <laughs> nice to officially meet you. Chef, this is Skylar. She's my sous chef. Hey, nice to meet you. She'll be coming in a little bit later than, than I will. Um, and she'll finish off fight week. So it'll be half of the week to the two of us, and then she'll uh, finish the rest of it and lead the rest. No problem. So, so just to understand that correct, uh, you guys gonna come here and then you will be on quarantine for a couple of days like when when you when will you potentially be here on the first day we're still figuring that out um we heard today that we may be in quarantine for uh, up to five days myself and and the nutrition manager yeah. charles um we land july 4th That's the last information you're gonna get tested at the airport and then one time inside the hotel. Normally those tests uh, that they do here in the hotel, they will take less than 24 hours to get a result. Wonderful. So, Perfect. So ideally, July 6th is when I would start cooking and prepping. We would okay. need your support with the quarantine menu, the fighter quarantine menu, from the time that we land, the 4th, all the way to Monday the 6th. So the quarantine meals, are they based on the ingredient list you send us or is this additional ingredients in both? Yeah, correct. So I wanted to talk to you about that um, just to make sure that that ingredient list is something you guys can do. Make sure that all the yep. details within that is uh, are st strictly adhered to. Um, so no sodium and it's going to be pretty much protein, fat and just offering a bunch of vegetables. Vegetables can be roasted um, or blanched, uh, but again, no, no, no added salt whatsoever. And then we're offering a side salad as well if the athlete wants that. So for two to three days, we want to provide a diet that is very high in fiber, moderate in protein, and high in fat as well. We're gonna eliminate all carbohydrates from, from the diet and, and all fruit as well. Okay, no problem. Uh, the menu you're gonna send us with a couple of guidelines or do you want us to work on that? Um, I already have it done. I believe they're working some sort of an approval with uh, Frank and Dave and there's something sort of upper manager management going on there. But I'll, after, after, okay. this, after this call, I'll send you the document in, with all the details. And that document has the, the, the menu already formatted. Of course, mm -hmm. the first week, I feel we're going to be testing a lot of this um, and adjusting as we go. I, I think the, the most important thing is, uh, you, you know that this is going to be a quarantined area. So yes. basically, a cutting of 25 square kilometers of the island and that will be completely autonomous. And we are only allowed to move in that area. That is, I think, the most important thing you have to know. Okay. But for any spontaneous purchases, I can, I, I definitely need more than 48 hours to, to get things that are really tricky to get, to get them from outside, because it's unfortunately not that we can just jump into a car and drive to the next supermarket. That is not feasible yeah. for us. Um, and, and just to prepare you, yeah, you will be just able to, uh, to walk in that area. Uh, the face mask and gloves and hairnet is, uh, I think, the only thing that really uh, is, is a massive change. The rest, I would say, is pretty much uh, pretty much easy. I, I, don't, I don't see much of a challenge. I think, like you said, it's just the first couple of days figuring out how the different time zones work. Yeah, for sure and how everyone is, uh, is, is coping with that. And then the rest is easy. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. We're also slightly nervous. <laughs> it's a lot of moving parts here. We can really only support one time scale with our staff. And what we are trying to figure out from PR is can we influence the timing of their PR their their obligations? Or is that stuck? Introduce the rest of the people that are going to be looking after you. Awesome. Pleasure meeting you all. You all. Thank you so much for uh, for being here. 
a bunch of little details that I would like to go over and make sure that we have all of our bases covered. So I have a couple questions as far as the, the quarantine menu goes. I just printed the, uh, the schedule that you sent, Chef. What were you guys thinking about the delivery and the ordering process of these menus? Because the athletes are fighting between two and four in the morning for the prelims and between five and eight in the morning for the main card. We we're starting to adjust their sleep cycle once they arrive so that they can get used to when they're going to be fighting. Currently, we didn't plan for any timing yet and we were just waiting for you because we have two chefs allocated and Puna is very excited to change his sleeping cycle according to the UFC fighters. <laughs> Thank you. We're all, we're all on that same page. I appreciate the excitement. The food that we are gonna, going to serve, we yep. play it cold and deliver it cold so that they can reheat it. It's a lot of guessing and I can give you guys my best guess, but yep. at the same time, uh, please, please keep in mind that this may change as the weeks go on. Like, no worries. This first week is going to be our test and then we'll adjust and we can discuss and it as we go. Um, but thank you for being open to that change. Um, the amount of athletes that we're dealing with I mean, that is between 20 and 24. So let's plan for 24. That's the most amount of athletes that a card can have. A total of 96 athletes for, for the to total of three weeks. So while they're quarantined, um, <laughs> they're going to be ordering directly from you guys. Once yep. out of quarantine, we will start providing the service. So how that's going to work is Skylar and I are going to do the cooking, the plating, the bagging, and yep. then Charles and Clint um, are the two dietitians um, from yep. the CPI that are going to deliver the food. What's that? You're going to deliver, you're going to deliver the food. Perfect. Even better for us. We decided that delivering the food ourselves would be a lot simpler and also we need that interaction with the athletes to gather yep. data uh, their weight and support them in anything else perfect uh, if you want we can uh, arrange one person from the team to assist you a little bit because the hotel is quite big and uh, chances are very likely that you get lost okay we'll keep that in mind and let's definitely plan for that and yep. we'll see we'll see how how we do with the first week so pretty much we're in alignment that the athlete when for the for the quarantine period uh the athlete will call room service in order directly right is that how it's going to work yes okay perfect and it's going to be the same line the same uh, in-room dining service they need to call to whatever whenever so they will take the order yeah whatever then... whatever whenever that's the name of the in-room dining yes yes okay so whenever they wake up, whenever they're ready for breakfast, whenever they're ready for lunch, exactly. they'll just call that and say, hey, I'm a UFC athlete, I need my breakfast? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that room number. Okay, wonderful. Cool. As far as the serving sizes go, did you guys ever get that confirmation? Yes, we got the Okay. I think that's all the questions I have. Do you guys have any questions for me? Any other details that I may be forgetting? Thank you so much for your time. Thank Bless you. you. Thank you. And we'll come, we're looking forward to welcoming you soon. Yeah, looking forward to meeting you guys soon. Thank you so much. Okay. See you. Bye. 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 Bye guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah.